the Samwise Sword. Welcome back, Dwellers of the Shadowlands. As we return this week to Japan and its haunting tales, let us explore the Samurai. Samurai were warriors often hired by nobles to protect their lands. They had a strict code and was very attached to their blades. So without further delay, let the story begin. When I was younger and very much into exploring, I found a prized object. It was amazing I found it, as it was buried deep within the forest. A katana, and the date engraved said 1789. The hilt was beautiful, and the word tiger etched upon the blade. Though when I lifted the object, I felt uneasy, like I was being watched. However, I could not leave such a find. I returned to my home with my new sword. I lived alone as my parents left me the home when they passed away. In my living room was an area where I had objects I found on display. This sword being my proudest discovery was in a case high above all the others. Yet I still felt uneasy with it being here. Soon I would realize why. It had been a long trip so I decided to get some rest and sleep early that night. But rest would not come easy. I dreamed of a great battlefield. Samurais in their armor glistened with blood defending their land. I never had these dreams before, but now they came often. The battles were bloody and ruthless. Neither side held back, and the corners littered upon the ground. One samurai stood out, his size and height well above the others. Easily recognized in my dreams. I realized his sword must belong to him. But still, how could I remove such a prized object? The knowledge only added to the prize position. Soon I would regret that decision. Through the days at home, I would hear a whisper. It was with a deep and heavy accent, and soon that whisper would become a voice. I called out with only silence responding. At first it was un unnerving, but harmless to me. One night I awoke to a loud crash, thinking it was a thief. I reached for the gun beside my bed. I crept downstairs into the living room. There I saw a glass peppered on the floor. The case holding my blade was completely shattered. I reached for the light switch, but the light did not work. However, 
The moon lit the room clear enough. And beside the window I saw him. He wore ancient armor and stood about six feet tall. In his hand was my sword. As he looked upon me with empty and hollow eyes. Blood poured from his open wounds. As he lifted the blade high in a striking position. I shot him, but the bullet did nothing. He did not flinch or even acknowledge being shot. One word came from his mouth with a thick accent. He said, Mine. Shocked and realizing the gun would do no good, I dropped it to the ground. Seeing I was not a threat, he lowered the blade. He turned to leave, and I saw a tiger etched into his armor. Suddenly the sky lit up, the foreshadowing of a storm to come. With a bright light, I closed my eyes. When I opened them, the man and sword were both gone. My dreams of blood ended that night. And yes, I lost my prized sword. But I was honored to see the sword and his master reunited once again. I hope you enjoyed this tale as it was fiction. We turn more tales next week as we return to Japan. As always, you are welcome to like and subscribe. And please feel free to leave comments below. So until we meet again, beware of the Shadowlands. Thank you.